morning dish. He's the hardest working man in show business. His band's music takes you into the midnight hours. And when you wake up, his voice is back on your radio alarm clock. How on earth did this happen? Well, Jeff saw me taking out the trash at the radio station. And he won another award. But this one is better. I'm your food man. That's what I am. It's the Morning Dish with the 2019 Radio Personality of the Year winner, Stephen Phillips. You paying attention to this, Packy? And Murphy's own Sherry Rains. Yeah, you must have given horseback passes to the right guy, Stephen. Well, giddy up. <laughs> And Packy Smith's Shetland Pony is right alongside. You guys know these demo tapes don't just edit themselves together, right? Well, all right. Three cheers for Stephen Phillips. Y'all need to help Stephen Phillips out over there. Out the door and off the radio. Here's Stephen Phillips. All righty, folks, we're back with you, and we're lucky to have Antonio Tabato was in Calvin Klein and actually uh, played in General Hospital, but the elite in Hollywood said that he wasn't uh, wasn't good enough for him because he was conservative. So he, what did he do? He moved down south, opened his own conflict studios up, and we have him this morning. Good morning. How are you, sir? Hey, good morning. Very well, thank you. God yeah. bless you all, man. Yeah, Everybody. man, so I'm tickled to death, man. I'm glad to hear. I mean, you know, if y'all not heard of the uh, conflict studios, we talked a little bit about it uh, earlier. Uh, you're doing conservative uh, movies and uh, faith-based movies. So tell us a little bit how all this started, because you was out in Hollywood, and I reckon, uh, you know, we got a lot of people out there that's like, you don't think like us, so you're out of here. Well, you know, I just put God first in my country, and I think we need to keep making movies and support our police officers and our flag and so much more. So uh, if Hollywood's not going to do it, and they're going to try to keep uh, blacklisting people because their opinion is different than, than theirs, then... Uh, it's about time we open our own studio and we make our own stuff and uh, we support our country and uh, and the truth. And that's, that's what I did. And, uh, you know, we built this this company and it's growing rapidly, conflictstudios.com. I want everyone to go there, please, and just leave us your email. We're, we're building a coalition of millions of people who uh, are just fed up. You know, they just want to be left alone and they love our country. So, uh, you know, freedom of speech and all that stuff is going down the garbage and, and so we, we want to save it. We love our country, and uh, and that's what I'm doing. So our first project is Trailblazers. is a Western that I'm directing and starring in with a bunch of uh, cool folks uh, this summer in Texas. And uh, and we'll just keep on making films that, uh, like I said, support our flag and our country. So now when you're out there in Hollywood, and we've talked a lot, and there's a lot of people that's with, with you on this. I've got, we've, got, we've had a lot of actors on here that's in the same boat you're in. And when they found, like, found out you were coming on, they're like, hey, tell him, tell him to call me. I want to act. I want to act. But yeah. when you were out there, how did they, did they just, I mean, you know, they just quit calling you, or, or did they actually have a, I mean, how did it happen? Well, I was, I was the first one to support President Trump when he was running, right. uh, when he was a candidate. Uh, he asked me to go uh, to the RNC and speak for him, and, and I did, and I supported him, and I supported the cause, and I supported the, you know, like I said, I, I, I put country and, and God and family first, so I... I did that, and when I came back to Hollywood, I was blacklisted. I mean, I was uh, I was I was thrown to the wolves, you know. And uh, everybody who was representing me, and a lot of folks that were on my side, uh, they were not on my side anymore. And they stopped uh, asking for me. They, you know, offers stopped calling, and I mean, they just everything stopped in a matter of 24 hours. And you know, I've seen that uh, in the past in my family. You know, we lived through communism in Europe and stuff, and. Uh, I seen it very clearly about what they were trying to do, uh, and in fact, they, they they tried to do it, but they didn't succeed. You know, I'm still making films, I'm still doing what I want to do, uh, and then on top of that, I created a studio that's going to protect a lot of folks. And uh, I, I, like you said, a lot of people want to get away from that, and uh, they're leaving California. It's uh, it's unlivable that place. What the politicians have done to that to that beautiful state, and uh, and what the, the people in Hollywood with a lot of power are doing. Uh, they're trying to shut people down. You know, and uh, that's that's uncalled for, and uh, it's not it's not supposed to be in our country, and it won't be. So, that's what conflict studio is about. It's about standing for what is right. But well, now you said uh, now you're doing uh, you're doing a lot of faith based films, also. No, I'm doing I'm doing everything. I'm doing uh, war movies, police movies, uh, fa- great. You know, I, I'm doing my first film, which is which is God versus Evil in the Western. It's R it, it's R rated. It's it's not PG. I mean, we're gonna have. On my side, we're going to have a film for kids, you know, film for family. Right. Uh, we're, we're crossing, we're crossing all kinds of boundaries. We're putting God first, but we're making good films, produced right, done right, 
where you know, and, and it could be R rated, it could be action adventure, it could be all kinds of stuff. And uh, but most importantly, we're supporting the truth in our country. You know, uh, that's what the studio is about. It's like they, it used to be in Hollywood many years ago, especially in the 40s and 50s, where yeah. where people were just standing out for their for their celebrities, their actors, and the, and, and like I said, making films that were they were really supporting our country, supporting the truth. Uh, and uh, those days are over, so we're trying to bring those back. So now, where where did you grow up? I grew up in Italy. Uh, I moved to this country legally with my family. My family never took a, a dime from any uh, welfare programs of any kind. We did it right. We waited in line, right. and we did it. We did it legally, and uh, we're very proud of that. And we became American citizens in the 1990s. And uh, uh, so, uh, you know, I did it with hard work and dedication. It looks like you're doing pretty good chasing the American dream, no doubt about it. But uh, I, and I, I, you know, I really respect what you've done because uh, a lot of folks would have just give up. But now, if I if I want to watch your movies, what do I need mm-hmm. to do? If I want to go see your movies, well, we're bringing we're we're building the content now. We're gonna we're, we're teaming up with a lot of uh, production companies who have made uh, actual films, and we're in pre production on a lot of films. So during this year is about putting the content together, and in twenty twenty two we'll be ready to launch Conflict Studios uh, as a streaming device. So you'll be able to see everything in house right. from television shows and movies uh, as soon as you log in. And uh, but for now. Please go to conflictstudios.com and just leave us your email so we, we can get in touch with you in the, in the near future. And keep on. This is great. I mean, I'm, I've, I've done, you've done got my email, so, uh, but uh, I think it's great. Uh, great. But now, if I was, uh, let's say that I am a, because I know several actors that's uh, in the same boat you're in, that they've kind of been mm-hmm. blackballed out there. If I wanted to get in touch with you and, like, hey, could you know possibly use me in a movie? Uh, do the same thing. Just go to Conflict Studios. Have you got a? Yeah, go to Conflict Studios. You can just send us an email at nick at conflictstudios dot com. N i k at conflictstudios dot com. And you know we we receive thousands and thousands. I think we're almost at thirty thousand emails of uh, of just people wanting to come and work with us. You know, from sending us scripts, stories, existing films that they have done that, that Hollywood doesn't want to doesn't want to release or distribute. Uh, we're just getting constantly kind of bombarded with people who are just fed up you know and they're not political party or anything they just they just want to go to work and do what they love what they love to do for entertainment but it seems to me like going on a movie set right now is always a political event you know and if you disagree with uh, what's going on in our country that the, 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 the White House and what's in the White House is a complete disgrace so um, and they're taking that into Hollywood and dictating what should come out of your mouth, you know. And um, that's basically what Conflict Studio is about. It's about standing up against the bullies right. uh, and, uh, you know, creating your own future based on truth and honor and dignity. Well, now, that's what they are. They're bullies, you ask me. I mean, I, you know, and uh, but they got, uh, I mean, like I said, they're, they stopped the, the, the wall. Uh, and the, but then they put a, a wall around the, the White House and all that, and uh, it's just crazy. Right. Yeah, it's crazy. And defunding the police, I mean, that that is something that just blows my mind. And uh, It's an agenda that they have. You know, I, I, I ran for, for a political office. I, I spent a lot of time, a lot of time, and I did my learning experience about the political world in this country. And if you think it's bad, it's actually worse than it could ever be. Um, and the lies and the deceit that's going on in, 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 in the White House right now and in, in, in politics all over the country is, something I've never seen before. Very dangerous times. So I want to keep the entertainment world alive and truthful and uh, with no bias, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, uh, and that's what we're working day in and day out, my team, uh, in pre-production with Trailblazers and everything else that we're doing because this is more important than just uh, going on a movie set. This is the future of our children, the future of our country, and the future of entertainment business in, in the world, really. So yeah. uh, we're, we're taking pride in what we're doing. Well, man, I sure do appreciate you calling us uh, and giving us an insight on that. I wanted people to hear this, uh, maybe, and help support you because that's one of the things I'm. I'm yeah, that's the thing that yeah. everybody needs to do if you are conservative and you want to see uh, your voice and heard your voice. You need to support this. Go to Conflict Studio, send him your email, and, and let's support this guy because he is really working hard at this. And like I said, you've been all over the media everywhere, and you actually work with Trump. How do you like working with Trump? Well, I never officially worked for Trump. I, I, I believe that uh, he was the right man. And, and, you know, people ask me, why did you support the man? I support the cause. Yep. Um, I support the cause and I support our country. And, 
and that's why I supported the man. You right. know, and now there's nothing to support because uh, our, our, our our White House and, and and the leaders of our country are completely a failure and a fraud, and uh, and, and so much uh, so much more. And so, my devotion right now is is, is to Conflict Studios and, and and to my crew, to my team, uh, and all the fans around the world who just uh, hey, you know, they just they just want to go to a movie and just be entertained. Right. And if there's a good message in there and you put country and God and family first, uh, you know, so much more. So we're about to do something really incredible. Well, Antonio, I sure do appreciate you calling in. And like I said, we're going to support you. you all we can up here. And uh, we'll keep in touch. If you got something, your movie's coming out, this, that, and other, give us a buzz. Uh, and uh, we'll get you back on. We can promote that. And uh, hopefully we can build this thing up and uh, keep it going. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. God bless you all. All right. Take care, man. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's got a big story. Comment. He's got yeah. a good story. We can't hardly cover it in fifteen minutes, but uh, so go check him out. You can uh, catch him at Complex Studios. They have their social media and everything attached to that, so mm-hmm. you can follow him there as well. Thank you for listening. This is Stephen Phillips, host of the Morning Dish. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel because we have a lot more interviews out there to listen to. Plus, you can listen online every morning at WJULradio.com dot com or Lake ninety seven point seven WJUL, and give us a like on our Facebook page, The Morning Dish.